Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft, and since I'm celebrating a very special day today, I thought I'd let you take a peek at my favorite fountain pens. Now to sort of pay homage to my first video of my pen collection, if I'm not mistaken, that was like in December or January, I wanted to share with you my top 15. Now in my video last January, if I'm not mistaken, I shared my 15 fountain pens, which grew from my first to second to third fountain pen sometime early December 2022. And there I was January 2023 sharing the 15 fountain pens that I amassed within a month. Now I have more than that. It's like a lot more than that. I'm a little scared to count at this point, but I will eventually. Um, so what I did was I just went ahead and I chose my top 15 to share with you. I'll share with you um, why I like the pen and uh, I'll also share a few writing samples as well. All right, so let's just get right to it. My number 15 is this beautiful Tacre Deluxe Signature in blue and purple. This is one of my first fountain pens. If I'm not mistaken, it is in my uh, 15 fountain pen, the original 15. It was a gift to me. And um, this particular colorway was released in 2021. Now, Tacre is um, it actually specializes in uh, EDCs like uh, knives and all of that. So their fountain pen did not disappoint because at the bottom part, at the bottom finial, you'll see a glass breaker. Now, this one is a screw cap and it is in fine. And I like carrying it around. It's heavy enough and it is quite comfortable to write with. Um, but if you look at the way it writes, let me just go and find a writing sample for you. Um, you will see that it writes using like really fine. It feels very fine when you write with it. There's no line variation. Sometimes though, I kind of feel like I'm writing with a uh, ball pen when I write with it, especially with the color that I think suits it. Um, so as much as I like keeping this in my case, I don't really get to do that a lot because I don't find the writing um, experience all that um, interesting. But the pen itself is just beautiful. This one is the Mont Blanc uh, Meisterstruck 144 in Vermeil Solitaire Du. Um, Bordeaux and basically it's Vermeil because the cap is a silver cap and it is gold plated. It's a slip cap as you just saw and Bordeaux basically is that it is in its red color. Now this particular one is made even more beautiful because number one it is one of my oldest pens. This was released sometime 1949 to 1960 and the best estimate for this particular model and design was uh, the what 1955 I think is the year that they a lot of people think it was released so that would make this particular pen um, about 68 years old it says that it's a medium you see that in the sticker there, but it actually writes more like a broad. I know I have a writing sample here for you guys to enjoy. Um, and so it has quite a thick line to it. Perhaps I have another one that, yeah. So you can see it's quite thick. For a medium even for a Mont Blanc. Um, the next on my list is a an independent fashion, uh, fountain pen maker. This is from Drunem and Pisane or Drunem Pisane sorry um, and this 
one is a Magic Garden 41. Now, you just can admire the beauty of it. It has real flowers in its resin. One of my favorite parts of this is this little nice rosette right there. And um, you are very welcome to be part of the customization of your own pen when you talk to Camilla. I mean, she even talks to you about what color you want your section to be, um, which nib you want it to have. It's like such a wonderful process to design a pen or to just not really design, but customize your pen with them. Now, let me see if I can find a writing sample for you. I'm, this is the Galen Leather, and this is how it writes. It's a beautiful writer. It's a bit too big for me, but um, I mean, the, the pen itself is a bit too long to write with for me, but I mean, the writing experience is just wonderful. Uh, here I'm using Lamy Dark Lilac. It's just a smooth writer. They, they chose a good nib, and since the pen itself is so pretty to look at, it's a wonderful writing experience. The next pen is a Sailor Pro Gear. This is the second Sailor Pro Gear that I've owned. It is a... Uh, Sailor Pro Gear Hachimon Gia Kubo Sakura, so it's a Hachimon Gia exclusive. It's in pink and it's a lovely soft pink with rose gold trim. And when you unscrew the cap, you will see that the nib has a beautiful flower design right there. And it is pretty. I think that's the Sakura. It's a pretty pen. This particular one came from Japan. It went through uh, Japan, Japan PH. They basically help you buy items in Japan and they send it to you uh, wherever you are. Most of their clients are based in the Philippines, but they were able to send me my pens all the way here to Jakarta. This is how this particular pen writes. It has the usual sailor feedback feel to it but i like that uh, feedback from sailor it's not too rough for me i like the feel it doesn't catch the paper it just feels nice i don't know how they do it but it's really good so this is how it uh, wrote this one was released in 2021 so you can see that my pens are a mix of modern pens um, customized pens and uh, unusual releases from companies that don't usually produce pens. The next one is uh, a very pretty piece and it's special in for many different reasons. First off, this is the Kasama PH Tala, that's the design, Takip Silim, that's the colorway pen. And this is a Manila pen exclusive for 2023. It's one of my uh, more modern, more recently released pens. And I really like its colorway. And it is quite a nice writer as well. So you can see in the nib, it has the Kasama logo too. And they managed to choose nibs that just make the writing experience quite nice. This is the, um, this is the, uh, okay, let me just write it with you. This is the Sandugo ink from Vinta. You can hear a little bit of the feedback, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like your nib is scratching on the paper. It's just wonderful. This is, by the way, Galen Leather's Everyday Book. Wonderful notebooks to have. Okay. Um, the next one was released in 2019. It is the Pelican M600. And it's a limited edition release because of the purple color um, on its barrel. It is a screw cap sort of pen. 
it was inked with KWC Gummy Berry. Wonderful pair for this one. I just finished, or yeah, I just dried up all the ink in it. And so just to help you sort of see how it looks, I'm trying to look for the uh, writing sample for you. So this is how it writes. It's very smooth and I, I don't know, it's a wonderful writing experience. The two pelicans, I actually have three pelicans, but I am using two and both of them are just beautiful writers. The next one is a Caveco. I have quite a number of Caveco pens. And this is the Vibrant Violet. It's a 2021 release. Took me uh, just a little bit of time to find it. And I just love the color. It's beautiful. I like that it is aluminum, so it's a little heavier than their plastic uh, pieces. I like the gold um, etching on it and the gold trim. I think it works beautiful with it. It also has a gold colored nib just to um, show you again this particular one does not have a writing a uh, writing sample i said writing because it has a pilot uh, ink on it oh no i think this is the caveco palm green yeah i think i have it with the uh, caveco palm green ink right now it's uh, something i always carry with me i need a uh, green ink in my work and so this is something that I often uh, have with me. Then my number eight would be this very pretty Mont Blanc Rouge et Moi baby. This was in inspired by the uh, Mont Blanc babies of like 1910, 1920, but this particular one was released in 2022. The Mont Blanc Rouge et Noir Baby in Ivory it is very pretty. It's so tiny, right? And it is such a lovely writer. So it has a slip cap. And I mean, look at that. I mean, the design, the color choices, they're just beautiful. To post it, it has a screw right there. So you just have to screw it on. And currently, this has Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. Um, just to show you how it looks with the toffee brown. Um, let's see if I can find that paper again. Okay, there we go. Very nice. If I'm not mistaken, I do have a writing sample for it. There we go. This is with the Mont Blanc Violet ink. Okay, so that is my number eight. Let's now go to my number seven. My number seven is a cross. It's a cross solo <clears throat> classic, and I really like its colorway. This was released sometime 1993. It's in forest green. It has gold trim and black uh, finials. It's a screw cap. And as you can see, the color uh, way is just echoed all through. So apart from the fact that I like its color way, I love the way it writes. Uh, this w w particular pen was gifted to me by my father when he found out that I was into fountain pens uh, December. So this is one of my first fountain pens too. He decided to gift me with his only other fountain pen. He has two and this is his second one and he just decided that he wanted me to have it for my collection and um, I love it. It's always inked for me. So this is my number seven. Now let's go into my number six. So my number six pen um is a vintage find i just saw it when i was glancing through a um a few posts from a vintage store in fact it wasn't even featured in that post it was like in the background and i asked about it because it was quite eye-catching and i am glad 
that I did. This is a Mont Blanc Meisterstruck 144V. Um, its complete name is quite long. It's like 144V uh, Vermeil Solitaire uh, Barley Corn, if I'm not mistaken. And I thought it was very pretty. It's very eye-catching, just like my other vintage find. They actually came from the same store, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this one is a slip cap. And it has, I, it had no sticker on it. In fact, it has some sort of uh, chipping or tarnish there. And I didn't know exactly what to expect in terms of how it wrote and i was so glad that after inking it up it's currently inked with the mont blanc midnight blue after inking it up i found that it wrote so oh no that's not the one where is it um oh here it is it wrote so is this even the one no this is my uh oh okay. uh, here it is i have a lot of notebooks that I use whenever I try and uh, review it or unbox it. Here it is. It's quite nice. When you go for downstrokes, it's very thick, but if you go for like uh, horizontal ones, it becomes thin. This is, according to those who collect Mont Blancs, this is the double broad nib. It's a very smooth writing instrument. I love it a lot. It is always in my pen case um and so that is my number six it's very nice to have with me my number five so now we're in my top five pens one of my oldest pens this was oh sorry this is 1991 this one is 1955 this is the pelican 140 Zero. It has crazy flex, even if it's actually a semi-flex. This would make this one 68 years old, roughly the same age, actually, as my uh, Bordeaux. So they were released almost at the same time. This one is just a beauty to write with. Again, it's always inked for me right now. It's on with On Inks Roasted Seaweed. It's very nice it's very small just to compare with the m600 this is the m600 one of the more modern releases of pelican there's a lot of changes in it okay and this one writes so nicely here is a sample of how it writes so pretty i love it it's just wonderful to write with it's also very light and it's also quite short so it's easily pocketable many reasons why i love it it's small it's vintage it has a flex nib i like its color so it's like just hands down one of the best pens that i have then i came and stumbled on the pilot Mew. This is my number four in my top five pens. I love it. It's just beautiful. Look at that. I like the stripes. It's called the Pilot Mew Black Stripes, released in 1973. And the nib is integrated into the barrel. It's the only one I have that looks like this. I'm not sure if it's the only one of this design. Well, at least from about that uh, time. So that's like 1973, which makes this about 50 years old. So it just became vintage. Now, let me see if I can find you a writing sample. I use this all the time, actually. It's um, been in my uh, everyday carry. Not even in my everyday carry. It's like in my bag. I toss it in my bag so I can use it. This is how... It writes, and it, I don't know, the writing experience is just wonderful with it. It feels different. It feels like something you could write with really every day. It doesn't feel just like a fountain pen. 
doesn't feel extra fancy, but it kind of does in its own unique way. I mean, I like it a lot. Okay, my top three. Now, these could be because of the design, it could be because of its emotional um, attachment that I have to it. Um, could be all three. But number three is my Mont Blanc Bohem. This is in lacquer pearl. And it was, I think, my third Mont Blanc. And uh, it's just lovely. If you see, I mean, there's so many things to say about this particular one. I love the, um, the design of it. I really like the colors. I like that it has a real Nakaya, well, a Nakaya culture pearl. But I like that it's a safety pen too. So if you see right, there is no nib. But all you really have to do is turn that and the nib comes out. I mean, I know it's like a little party trick of its own. It's chunky, it's pocket size, it writes really nice. I mean, for me, what's not to love about this pen? Also, it is uh, getting a bit old. Right now, it is 18 years old for this particular design. It was released. Uh, this design was released in 2005, although uh, the Bohem itself was released, I think, sometime 1999. I'm trying to uh, look for a pattern, I mean, a writing sample for you. Ah, here it is. This is how it writes. It's, I, I don't know, I really like it. I like how it writes. I enjoy bringing it with me. It's like bringing a toy along. My second favorite pen is another Mont Blanc. Look at that, so pretty. This is called the Mont Blanc Jewelry Platinum. I think it has like a longer name. But in short, people just call this the Mont Blanc Mozart Platinum or Mont, Mont Blanc Mozart Jewelry Platinum. And it's just pretty. It's small. Um, it has this nice mother of pearl um, logo from uh, Mont Blanc. And look at that nice matelassé sort of pattern on it. I have this in my poetry notebook because it's so slim. It's so nice to have it there. And it writes really nice. I use this a lot in my poetry notebook. And so, I mean, it gets used quite a bit. How does it write? Let me see if I have it somewhere. Mm, should be in my older writings because I've had it for some time. I think it was one of my, I think it was my fourth Mont Blanc. Ah, here. It works so well. Like you can write really quick with it and it just, it's just easy. It's just easy to have. Such a wonderful writer. Just an easy companion, this one. And my top, uh, my most favorite one um, is I like the colorway, I like the design, I like the feel of the nib. I love, I also am very attached to it because it is my first grail pen. And this, this is a Sailor Pro Gear. Every rose has its thorn. This is, if I'm not mistaken, a 2022 release. Um, I like how this color changes based on lighting. And it's a screw cap, and if you see, it has like rose gold uh, trim all around. This is also always inked with the Diamine One More Sleep. It goes really well. It is just the right kind of wet, uh, wetness for it. And I use it a lot for my everyday journaling. My absolute favorite. Okay, so... There you have it, my top 15 pens. And I am currently like nine months into the whole uh, fountain pen collection. 
um, road or journey. And I feel that I have quite a number of good pens in my collection, pens that are definite keepers. And you've seen the 15 that I would definitely, definitely keep. Now, if there's a fire in the house, knock on wood, hope it never happens, but these would be the pens that I would really grab and make sure I had with me. Um, my other pens are pretty too, but these are just gorgeous. They're gorgeous and they're great writers and a lot of them have really nice stories attached to them. So I hope you enjoy this little sharing video that I've had uh, with you on my special day. And um, please do let me know if you find any of these really interesting or if you have something similar in your collection. I really enjoyed sharing these with you today. This is Kai from Kikai Craft and wherever you are, I hope you have a great evening or a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.